Started getting rough, the plane was going down. We crashed into the jungle where there's no help to be found. We're in the wild kingdom now. Venture is a store. Boom, 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 boom. We're in the wild kingdom. Exploring with the Lord. We're in the wild kingdom now. Adventure is in store. We're in the wild kingdom. Exploring with the Lord. I can't believe it. I just did five miles. I can't believe it. Oh, wow. I just get my breath. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Welcome to Kid Venture this morning. This month in the Wild Kingdom will be cross training. And running's a big part of cross training. Now it's time for some jumping jacks. You guys probably want to do some with me. Everyone stand up. Get ready to do what I do. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now it's time to do some push-ups. Hello? Hey, Patty. What you up to? Oh, I'm in the middle of cross training. You know, when you believe in Jesus, you're supposed to grow as a Christian. You are what? That means working out, getting stronger, and growing really big muscles. Wait a second. You're right. Cross training is about growing, but it's not about growing bigger muscles or working your body out. It's about growing on the inside. What? Are you sure about that? Oh, you mean, I mean, I'm working out for nothing? No. Of course not. The Bible says in 1 Timothy 4, 8, that physical training is good, but training for godliness is so much better, promising benefits in this life and the life to come. So cross training is gonna help me here on earth and in heaven too? Exactly. I can't wait to jump into today's lesson because we're going to start learning what cross training really is and how we can start doing it. Oh good, I need to learn the real way to cross train. Nothing to worry about. You'll be getting in shape God's way in no time at all. It all starts off with a real change that happens on the inside. But right now, it's time to get up and praise the Lord. So if you're ready for praise time, everybody, let's say, let's praise Him. Let's praise Him. Okay, great job. See you later. Okay, bye.
everybody! Welcome back to the Wild Kingdom where we've been learning to live on the wild side. Living on the wild side means doing things God's way, not ours. Does anybody have an idea why living God's way is the best way? Good answers! He knows everything and He rewards us for following Him. Everybody say, God's way is the best way. God's way is the best way. Nice job. In November, we are exploring a new idea called cross training. At the beginning, one of our leaders was a little confused about what cross training was all about. In sports, when you are working on two or more different things like running and swimming, it's called cross training. That's because how you train for one is completely different than how you train for the other. It's like the two ways are crossed. But that's not the cross training we are talking about. Our kind of cross training starts with the cross. Do you remember what Jesus died on? Right! A cross! We learn from God's special book, the Bible, that Jesus died on a cross for our sins. Our amazing journey with Jesus begins at the cross. Check out what Jesus said in Mark 8 verses 34. If any of you want to be my follower, you must give up your own way, take up your cross, and follow me. That may sound like a strange thing for Jesus to ask. Take up your cross and follow me? What's he talking about? He says anyone who wants to be his follower should stop doing things their own way and go Jesus' way instead. Hey, that's what we were just talking about. Everybody say, God's way is the best way. God's way is the best way. But then, did you see what it said next? Take up your cross and follow me. That sounds kind of strange, doesn't it? Does he really want all of us to pick up a heavy wooden cross, put it in our back, and carry it around? Are we all supposed to be dragging around a big heavy cross like he did? Well, not exactly, but this command is where we get the idea of cross training. Jesus may not want us to carry around a cross, but he does want us to do the work of following and obeying him. And sometimes that's just not easy. It takes practice. It takes training, just like someone who wants to get good at baseball. Does someone just learning how to play baseball go to T-Mobile Park and tell the Seattle Mariners they want to be on their team? No way! They're professionals. They're on TV and they get paid to play baseball. As kids, you're just starting out. You have to practice, learn the game, play on different teams, and listen to your coaches. Then maybe someday you could play for the Mariners. Cross training or growing in your faith takes practice too. It takes time. You have to practice some every day and it can be a lot of fun because as we learn to follow and obey Jesus, we get to know him better. We become better friends with him and he can use us more on special assignments. How cool is that? In sports, when you work out, your muscles grow bigger. You get faster and your skills get better. After a while, you can start to see your progress on the outside. When you cross train, the same thing happens. Every time you take a step to obey what Jesus says, you grow in your faith. When you practice saying no to your own way and yes to Jesus' way, you grow a little more. When you learn to do the habits followers of Jesus do, you grow even more. The changes start on the inside, but pretty soon you'll see them on the outside. Do you know what proof of growing you'll see on the outside? Any guesses? You'll see it in your actions. That's what cross training is all about. Everybody say, cross training is about growing. Cross training is about growing. Growing in your faith. Growing in your faith. 
If Jesus says, honor your father and mother, and you practice obeying them, you'll see it in your actions. That's cross-training. If Jesus says, when you believe in him, you should be baptized, at some point when you do, you'll see it in your actions. And if Jesus says, study and memorize verses from the Bible, how can you prove you are growing on the inside? You'll be in your Bible, right? Cross-training is about taking actions that help you grow in your faith. Everybody say, cross-training is about growing. Cross-training is about growing. We grow by taking action. We grow by taking action. I want to share a real example from the Bible of what growing in Jesus really looks like. Check out this story from Luke chapter 19, verses 1 to 10. Jesus entered Jericho and made his way through the town. There was a man there named Zacchaeus. Do you ever remember hearing about Zacchaeus? Listen to this. He was the chief tax collector in the region and he had become very rich. Zacchaeus was a big time tax collector. He would collect tax money from the people for the king. But do you know what else he'd do? He would take extra money and keep it for himself. People hated the tax collectors because they were getting poor while the tax collectors were getting richer. But something really cool was about to happen. Jesus was coming to Zacchaeus' town of Jericho. Let's see what happens next. He tried to get a look at Jesus, but he was too short to see over the crowd. So he ran ahead and climbed a sycamore tree beside the road, for Jesus was going to pass that way. So this is kind of funny. Zacchaeus was excited about Jesus coming, but he was too short to see over all the people. So what did he do? Right, he climbed up a tree to get a better view of Jesus. We can see his curiosity in his actions, can't we? So let's see what happens next. When Jesus came by, he looked up at Zacchaeus and called him by name. Zacchaeus, he said, quick, come down, for I must be a guest in your home today. Can you imagine that? Out of all the people in the crowd that day, Jesus picked Zacchaeus, the little guy up in a tree. So what did Zacchaeus do next? Zacchaeus quickly climbed down and took Jesus to his house in great excitement and joy. But the crowds were displeased. He has gone to be the guest of a notorious sinner, they grumbled. Okay, this is so cool. Jesus sees Zacchaeus up in a tree and he can tell something is important is happening inside of him. He was starting to believe in Jesus. Jesus could see he went to a lot of trouble to climb a tree just to see him. So Jesus says, I'm coming over to your house today. Oh man, Zacchaeus was so happy. But how do the people standing in the crowd feel about it? They were mad. Right, because tax collectors were known to be stealers and sinners. But Jesus goes to Zacchaeus' house anyway. This is amazing. I can't believe it. Meanwhile, Zacchaeus stood there and said to the Lord, I will give half my wealth to the poor, Lord, and if I have cheated people on their taxes, I will give them back four times as much, Jesus responded. Salvation has come to this home today. You know what? I think Zacchaeus was cross-training. Remember what we said? Cross-training is all about growing, and growing is all about actions. What proof was there that Zacchaeus was growing? Did he get taller? No. What proved he was growing on the inside? He took action. Right. He promised to give half of his money to the poor and to pay back people he stole from, even four times as much. If he stole $10, he'd give them back 40 If he stole $100, he would pay back 400 Whoa, that's a lot for someone who loved money more than anything 
How could he give away most of his money like that? Something happened on the inside that made him do an outside action. He was obeying and he was growing. Every time we obey God's word, we're also following Jesus. When we follow Jesus, we are taking up our cross. We're cross training. And when we are cross training, we're growing in our faith. Everybody say, cross training means growing in our faith. Cross training means growing in our faith. Everybody say, we grow by putting our faith into action. We grow by putting our faith into action. This whole month, we'll be learning more about what steps you can take to grow in your faith. I can't wait. Let's pray. Lord God in heaven, thank you for the instruction and the examples your word gives us and how to increase our faith by cross training. Thank you for your many blessings and our time of learning together today. In your name we pray. Amen. Bye. See you next time.